Hello, this is the Chart Profit video. More than two hours before the open on Friday, 22nd of July. This from the uh, pre open today. You note that on Thursday here I marked uh, significant selling for the first time in 18 days. So back on Friday, the 8th of July, um, that the E mini had been ranging around the uh, point of control, the major point of control at 2087 for a while and uh, significant sellers uh, would often react at those points of controls but they hadn't done so. So I said that unless selling uh, red is marked soon, buyers will look for them higher, which they did, and 2087 being quite a bit lower. So um, at last we've seen some selling uh, being marked here, this aggressive selling. But as I've said pre-open today, this is not effective selling. Uh, the value area up here is actually above uh, 2156, which is the minor point of control. That is 2156. There's actually a typo in here, which will be corrected before you get it. So the minor point of control at 2156. Uh, uh, the aggressive selling that we saw has merely auctioned the E-mini back to that minor point of control. And basically, what I would say here is that effective selling marked below that level uh, would indicate a retest of 2087. Uh, but currently we've just seen a test of that minor point of control and we've bounced back a little bit. So I'm calling this in the longer term just reactive selling. And sometimes it's constructive for the buyers to get a look uh, at the selling. So this is good, this has happened in a way. Um, and so far it's been ineffective. Now the buyers may take a little confidence from that and auction the E-mini higher. But the caveat is we don't want to see effective selling marked below this minor point of control at 21.56. Also said here that we also know that the momentum and the breadth are positive. So let's have a look at the pulse chart. So as far as the technicals go, there's no breakdown here. The momentum is positive and heading higher. The breadth is positive here. That comes from these two indicators on the daily uh, breadth chart. Both of these indicators above levels that we call supportive. And therefore, if the two are positive, we get this green bar on the breadth. Undoubtedly the market's getting a bit overbought here, it's just on the short term oscillators. But if these two uh, are positive, it tends to be the case that any red marked uh, from the profile that you can see here, the red bars, uh, tends to be less concerning. You can see that on the rally from the February low up here, that we did have some red bars. And this is uh, buyers resting, just looking to see, or to gauge the strength of, of the selling. It's always good to do that. So if we look here on the E-mini September contract, uh, this is a live hourly chart. Down here we've got 2087, which is the major point of control. And up here, as we've seen across this period here, it's developing minor point of control at 2156, and we've held that. Uh, selling now marked down here, effective selling marked down here would be a concern. It's just a retest of this level. So Russell 2000 ETF, IWM. Uh, we've gone into a range up here, uh, but holding above the major point of control at 115.35 in a strong price location. Just zoomed in there, you can see the oscillators, a number of the oscillators are indicating um, that we're overbought here, so this may turn into a little correction here. Currently we just as easily see this um, as continuation pattern, and this will turn back up and we'll head higher. So. Again, referring back to my favourite chart, the E-mini S&P and those levels we just discussed should give us a clue. Q's also looking a little extended here, but again, as long as we hold above this major at 105.13, in the longer term it's in a strong price location. One of the key charts we were following recently was the FTSE index, the UK FTSE 100 index future. This is a September contract. We're holding above here uh, the level that we're watching at 65.25, which is the major point of control, which is major support for this chart. So this could be a key chart. Price back below here would indicate general weakness, but currently we're holding quite strong above that level. And the German DAX also um, has recovered from earlier in the month. It's now back above uh, 96.60 and has been for a while. And as long as we hold again above this level in the longer term, unless that point of control migrates, which it hasn't yet, uh, this chart is in a strong price location. This is the T-Bond uh, ETF, TLT, in a strong price location, well above its three-year point of control at 130.77. We noted recently that the weekly chart had been uh, very overbought. On the weekly chart, uh, which we're looking at here, we're above the upper Bollinger Band. That's a 40-period weekly Bollinger Band. That's more than two standard deviations above the central line here. 
the weekly time frame that's overbought. Also the uh, stochastic momentum index turned down. And there has been a bit of a correction here. Last week was pretty weak. If I just switch us back to the daily chart, uh, this is suggesting possibly uh, a rally here. Considering the overboughtness on the weekly chart, we need to determine if this is trend down now or if this move here is actually a correction in the uptrend. One way to do that is to, as we keep hitting new lows in this uh, move down, we just keep marking the halfway point. Now if it's correction and a downtrend, this will be clear resistance. So we'll see a move something like this and then we'll come off. On the other hand, a rally back up there and then that kind of pattern strongly st uh, suggests we're still in uh, an uptrend right now. And until that happens, I will assume that we're going to see more downside here. And remembering we've got support on this chart of 130.77 here. Gold ETF, GLD, looks similar to the bond chart in uh, relationship to its support levels quite a way above. Uh, on here, the major point of control is at 118.22. Uh, any decline in the long term should find support there if we're going to keep this chart in a strong price location. Chart bounced back a bit yesterday. Uh, today, cash indicates a lower open. This is oil ETF, USO. Uh, we noted recently that the nine month point of control migrated lower down to 1078, this line here. Uh, we stalled here as we sold off, um, but right now USO actually closed yesterday below that level in a weak price location. So. I wouldn't be happy about considering the long side unless we saw a price back up here. Uh, there is support just above 10 here, which is the natural support, the halfway off this low to this high. May well see that tested considering we're in a, a weak price location in the short term. Price below this level would be fairly seriously negative development for this chart. Dollar index has maneuvered itself back into a strong price location. Here's the two year point of control, which is the major support. Uh, we're above that. You can see the spike here following the UK referendum. And we've held that support and now printing back above the halfway point of it's actually the high up here in December to this low, which is the natural uh, support resistance. And we're above that. So this is strong price location for the dollar index above this level here. Euro FX chart being a large component of that dollar index, not surprisingly, is printing in a correspondingly weak position below its halfway point off uh, the low in March 2015 to this high. And I've been saying that time printed below here is a negative. I definitely want to see price back above here at minimum uh, to look at the long side. So this is a fairly weak looking chart right now. Okay, this is the British pound against the dollar. This is the daily chart. Um, you can see the collapse on the chart there as the referendum result came through. Just switching here to a weekly chart. Uh, if we look at the time period from the referendum, uh, and I've shown recently, just based on a five minute basis, the point of control was a little higher than where it is at the moment. So it's migrated lower to 132.28. And just as I recalled uh, this video, you can see that we're seeing uh, some weakness here in this chart. Right now, this is currently uh, a weak price location just below that minor half off the low on the 6th of July, which was the uh, the low for the pound. So in the short term here, this is a uh, weak price location again for the pound. We're going to look at the sentiment indicators. First of all, while I'm in here in the charting application, we'll look at the VIX. This week the VIX has closed below 12 here, uh, this blue line representing that level. So you can see previously, uh, over the last couple of years, when the VIX was this low and uh, they're all up here. Difficult to see that in a positive light representing quite a complacent attitude reflected by the option pricing right now. Last week the Rydex assets ratio right here, 5.97, that was a six month high last week, actually uh, last Thursday, a week ago, relative to the ratio back uh, last year when it got up close to 14, or just above 14. This is, um, by comparison, a low reading, um, but we did note at that point that it's still a six-month high. 
bull fund assets in isolation on this chart you can see that recently very recently early July uh, around just before the market came higher looking at the bull fund assets they got below this level here which usually represents an overly pessimistic view of the market and therefore a contrarian point where the market tends to rally which it did again you can see previous examples of that really useful indicator this one so the bull fund assets have come higher uh, just recently with this rally from that low but nothing here excessive I mean possibly uh, a rally or enough assets in the bull funds to lift it above this previous level which is back in April uh, may be a concern but nothing particularly to worry about on this chart I also noted last week here on the bear fund assets looking at those in isolation they hit the lowest point back to December so very low a uh, number of bears here that largely responsible for the ratio here in a six month high so we're tailing off a little bit on the ratio it was down uh, yesterday how significant this six month high will be to be honest I'm not sure what we can say is at this point here the Rydex traders the retail traders became more optimistic about the market than they had been in the last six months looking here at the public poll from AAII um, I particularly watched the four week moving average of the net which is the bulls minus the bears and the black line is now approaching uh, a level which again if exceeded would be the highest reading from the start of the year actually back to November last time we saw that pattern was uh, late October up here when it uh, hit a six month high slightly lower bulls this week um, slightly higher bears this week but generally if you look at that four week moving average of the net uh, we've seen growing bullish sentiment here and I'll be watching that peak in the investors intelligence again the four week moving average of the net continues to climb that black line at 24.82 that's the highest since August last year so again in the investors intelligence the newsletter writers uh, lots of bulls emerging there the net itself this week's just this week's bulls minus bears at 31.1 that's the highest since July last year as well if the price chart was below its 100 week moving average or some other similar indication that we were in a bear market then this kind of pattern would be highly significant with the S&P breaking out to a new high this breakout here is not as significant especially as it's registering down here in the, in the 20s rather than up here in the 50s Lipper US fund flows reported equity fund including ETF outflows of 2.8 billion in the week to the 20th of July. Four week flow, a four week summation uh, is at a negative 3.2 billion but that is the least negative it's been in 14 weeks and that's the black line here. Those indicators fairly inconclusive, uh, nothing striking there in regards to extremes. What I like about the Rydex data is it's available day to day, it actually shows what the retail trader is doing rather than saying. And although they hit a six month high recently, they don't seem to be particularly interested in this rally. The last significant signal we had here actually was uh, in mid February when the ratio went to a new low here, broke below October's low, uh, which was recorded over here. Uh, we broke below that low here, which corresponded to this, showing an extreme level of pessimism which in the past has been a reliable sort of contrarian indicator that came in around three or just under so uh, if we saw a sell-off and we saw the ratio break below three here the previous low again that would be a clear contrarian signal but right now if anything I think the indicators especially with the six month high in the right act which is seeing growing enthusiasm for the market rather than excessive optimism so just before I conclude back to the first chart we showed the hourly e-mini 2156 and we can say the first sign of weakness in the near term would be effective selling marked below that level we haven't seen it yet I assume the buyers are still in control so that concludes once again I wish you a good weekend and thank you for watching